Starting this morning off right with my oral care routine, I want to give a huge thank you to Sucast for sponsoring today's video. Today I'm going to be using the Sucast Neos 2-in-1 Toothbrush. The Neos Brushing and Flossing Toothbrush can cover 40% more of the cleaning blind spots that your average electric toothbrushes and regular toothbrushes cannot using the industry innovative patented 2-in-1 brush and flossing tech. I love this toothbrush because it comes with two settings and three different speeds the deep clean setting is my favorite for daily cleanings and the quick clean setting is a great way to freshen up after lunch this device is amazing because it doubles as a water flosser as well the 90 milliliter tank at the back of the device is great because it's very accessible and easy to clean that way I can ensure that when I refill it there's nothing icky at the bottom of the water tank this device is amazing because it removes 40 times the typical amount of plaque with 10 times more dental gap cleaning and 2 times more efficient teeth whitening. While this device is powerful, it is very gentle and caters to everyone's oral hygiene needs. It is also equipped with wireless charging. Included in your package, you will receive a charging pad that can be powered with any USB port. I love listening to podcasts while I brush my teeth to habit stack, so I turned on one of my favorite podcasts and listened to that throughout my oral routine today in the morning i like to go in with my toothbrush on the deep clean setting because it times you so i think it's about two minutes that it goes on and then after the two minutes it then begins to push the water out i love the fact that this doubles as a water pick you guys like my teeth get so clean they feel super clean after and they're noticeably more white i've been using this toothbrush maybe for about a month or so now and i 100% cannot go without it as you guys can see here this is just how the water begins to come out of the toothbrush head so I'm going in and doing my regular routine and then it'll do like a water floss for another minute or so at the end of each use just to make sure that I'm not getting anything icky in my tank I like to go in and dump out the water tank using the button at the bottom of the toothbrush I am obsessed with this toothbrush you guys. As you all know, you only get one set of teeth so I definitely recommend investing in your oral care. While this toothbrush is an investment, it is definitely one of the best things that I've added to my oral hygiene routine. So if you guys are interested in Sucast and the Neos 2-in-1 toothbrush, I will have it linked down below for you guys. They also sell it on Amazon so I'm going to make sure that I put it in my storefront for you all as well. But I'm about to go ahead and just finish up with my oral care routine again i want to give a huge thank you to sukas for sponsoring today's video now let's get into the rest of the vlog three days later A brand that specializes in recreating luxury fragrances for a fraction of the cost and who doesn't love a good deal y'all know we love a good deal over here so they have things not only for my girls but for my guys as well they also have some unisex fragrances and even things for around your house like candles girl if y'all know me y'all know i love me a dossier candle like i have them in my bedroom i have them out in my living room and in my bathroom they have so many amazing scents for so many great deals you guys 
guys and if you buy three items you can get a discount i believe it's like 10 percent off you get to try out your fragrances and if you don't like them you get to send them back and get your money back or they'll swap them out for you so in general dossier is just a really great website for anyone who loves fragrances y'all know me i'm a perfume junkie and i have an entire collection of just dossier perfumes alone like i have probably over 20 of their fragrances as you guys saw in the vlog today i'm going to be using their floral vanilla i believe it's called and that one is inspired by ysl's libre which is my absolute favorite i said floral vanilla girl it's floral lavender but that is my absolute favorite scent and i have been using it so so much so we're gonna put that on today and that is going to be my little fragrance of the day but yeah shout out to dossier for sending this over and sponsoring today's video I'm going to have the info for them down below, so make sure y'all check them out and let them know your girl that's peace and you. I haven't been on camera in so long. I don't know why I feel like... I'm nervous to talk to y'all. Like, what's tea? What's with y'all? It's your old SP, and I am back at it again with another vlog. Please don't kill me because I know it's been so long, but hey. Hey, besties. Hey. Hey. How y'all doing? Hey. Not too much on me. I need a mental health break, okay? Like, just not too much. I was giving y'all all the shorts in the world, but clearly, y'all wanted the vlogs. Y'all wanted to hear me talk. So, I'm here, and y'all better pull up and be here in these comments, okay? It's Sunday, and we have to get our lives together. So, I just made me ice chai latte. This is actually a sugar cookie chai, and y'all... Hands down, 10 out of 10. This tastes exactly like the one I was getting from Starbucks last year. Y'all know I was hooked on that real bad last year. But we are boycotting Starbucks. If y'all did not know, my money not going to that, okay? So your girl has figured out all of the little DIY coffee recipes, matcha recipes. Girl, I done been trying matcha, chai, coffee. Like, she's in her barista era. And this recipe... 10 out of 10 so i'll show y'all how to make this later on in the vlog yes i know i am already drinking one but it's a sunday reset girl so i need all the caffeine i can get i know there's the grinch um sugar cookie creamer that's going viral on tiktok right now but i'm pretty sure that has dairy in it so i just learned how to make my own sugar cookie syrup and while this is not the most healthy in the world girl she's full of sugar it tastes exactly like starbucks but y'all know starbucks is full of sugar too but anyway, you guys, I'm about to get up and start my day. It is very late in the day, girl. I started recording this video earlier around like 1 o'clock and I don't know what happened, but somehow I ended up laying in the bed watching Gear More Girls for about two or three hours. So, not too much on me. But it's Sunday, so I try not to put too much of myself on Sunday. I really just give myself grace, and we do what we can. Especially because my reset days are really Saturdays, and I did do a good amount of cleaning yesterday. I do still have some stuff to finish up today. So right now, I'm about to open up some packages. Y'all saw your girl has a bunch of Amazon packages, so I'm about to open those. I'm also going to record a TikTok of me doing that. So I'll do like an unboxing with y'all, and then I'll probably just come back and like tell y'all what's tea on everything i got but yeah y'all i'm done running my mouth i'm about to open everything and yeah let's get it i'm excited y'all know she loves to shop so i hope everything is up to my standards he want the spoon she want the tea she want the tea i cannot speak we're keeping it street we're keeping it street i took a loss but you still gonna get beat you still gonna get beat how much it cost? It never been cheap. It never been cheap. Turn your click up, dog. Turn them up, turn your bitch up, dog. Turn her up. Tiny streets can't cross it. Cross them up. All these streets need bosses. Boss them up. Turn your click up, dog. Turn them up. Turn your bitch up, dog. Turn her up. Tiny streets can't cross it. Cross them up. All these streets. 
street need bounces. Yeah. My dog yeah. get low in his pockets, I'm picking no more. Yeah. We came from the bottom together, my nigga, we get it, we split it up. In my bitch, I be paid for that pussy, I take her head shopping and tell her shit up. Standing on business, standing on bitches, ain't nothing up, pipe that shit up. It ain't nothing. All right, y'all, I just finished filming my little TikTok. I also ended up doing a second one, so I'm going to show y'all everything that I got. I'm actually really happy with all my purchases. So this with your girl's aftermath is looking like. So I picked up these little bear slippers for when I mop. They have these little, like, microfiber duster bottoms, and you can, like, take them off their Velcro or whatever. So I got those. They actually came with a pair of no-show socks as well, but I probably won't use them. I've been seeing these all over TikTok and I thought they were super cute. So I picked those up. I also picked up a bunch of like aesthetic cups. I also picked up this little glass jar with a bamboo lid. This is going to be for baking soda. It actually came with these little labels and a little chalk marker. So you can write your own labels if you want. But me, I just got a bunch of pre-made labels. And this is just for like household essentials. So it has like sponges and scrubs, microfiber cloths, vinegar. It's like a bunch of different labels like that. It also has baking soda in here as well, if I'm not mistaken. So I'm just gonna use this to label. And I did also pick up these little containers as well that I'm probably going to use for either under my sink or in my fridge. I don't know. I'm, I ordered them for under my sink, but they're a lot bigger than what I thought. So I'm thinking I might have extras. If I have extras, I'm just going to use it for either the sink in my bathroom or potentially my fridge. I'm not sure we're going to see, but this is what they look like. It's just a clear acrylic container and then it has a drawer that pulls out. So I'm going to label these as well. I did get two sets of four, so I have eight in total. And I do think I probably will end up buying eight more. Like I said, this is going to be for under my kitchen sink. And then I am going to try to um, organize both of the cabinets under my sink in my bathroom as well. So I might end up needing more. I don't know. We're going to see what the vibes are. I also got these, but I have to return them. They're like little hooks for the shower. If y'all follow me on TikTok and y'all saw, I kind of upgraded my shower shelves and I got this little hand to hold my um, wash rags or whatever, but I put it on upside down. So I needed to buy new ones, but for whatever reason, they don't fit. So I have to buy a different size and see if that works best. So I'm gonna return those because I think that was like $10 girl and I need my money back. Normally I don't return stuff, but I'm, I have no use for those at all, and I don't know anyone that I could give them to. So, um, hopefully, Amazon will come pick those up tomorrow or sometime this week. But, yeah, that is everything that I picked up, I think, for this haul. Yeah, that's everything that I picked up. Like I said, I probably will order some more cups on Amazon. I found all of these cups at, like, a really good price, I feel like. For each set, I believe it's like $20 or $25, no more than $25. And I be seeing like sets of two on Amazon for like $30 and $40. So when I saw those glasses, I made sure that I picked them up. If y'all are interested, I'm going to have everything linked in my Amazon storefront, but I will try to leave direct links down below in the description box for y'all. But yeah, right now I'm about to go ahead and put all this stuff away and then I'm going to probably relax just for a little bit because I have been working for a few hours now. Like I told y'all, I just recorded those two reels. And even though it might not seem like it, like it might just seem so easy to record from the behind the scenes, girl, I literally spent probably like 30 or 40 minutes recording those videos per video. So I'm probably just going to sit down and relax for a little bit. Um, I do need to, like I said, clean up. I need to wash all these cups and then I have clean dishes that I need to put away. I think there's a few dishes in the sink as well. So I'm going to put my hair up in a claw clip and probably handle that. And then as far as like my actual resetting goes for today, there's not too much cleaning that I need to get done, but I definitely need to vacuum my floors and I want to shampoo my carpet as well. So I might do that today. And then I'm probably going to make that chai recipe that I was telling y'all about because your own needs a little pick me up. It's like eight o'clock. I think what time is it? It's literally 743 and I'm talking about I need a pick me up. I 
it's like two days later i ended up coming on my cycle and she shut the show down okay i mean like y'all for two days i've just been in my bed watching gilmore girls so don't be mad at me i'm trying to keep the vlog going though originally i wanted this video to be like a sunday reset but girl it's gonna have to be a weekly vlog at this point so today is now tuesday i need some chapstick because like is my lip cracking <sighs> much better not my lips so chapped on a corner that it's cracking like what's tea i guess the weather is changing so not too much on me but we are back and like i said instead of making this a sunday reset video or just a one day vlog we're just gonna drag it out and make it a weekly vlog so yes here we are fresh out of bed i literally just rolled out the bed and was like let me grab my camera and update the girls so it is now tuesday it's 4 30 right now and y'all know it starts getting dark at like five o'clock now so the day is pretty much over but before my boyfriend comes home from work i do want to knock out my content so that i don't have to worry about it later i have to do like two short form timu hauls i also have like youtube content that i want to film but it's just not happening right now <laughs> like i just don't feel like it y'all i probably try to film my long form videos tomorrow and knock those out but today i'm gonna try to just focus on my short form videos like tiktoks and all of that for the past couple of months i've been just dishing out content after content after content when it comes to short form videos which i feel like i'm really in my short form bag i do want to focus more on youtube like long form videos and vlogs and stuff for y'all but right now it's just easier for me to make short form content as far as editing and all of that goes i do want to put more of my focus back into youtube eventually i'm just not sure when like i told myself i would do it you know starting asap like i always say oh i'm gonna I'm a upload a weekly vlog on sunday and then that'll be the start of me coming back on youtube but honestly y'all i don't know i might just wait until the new year to start uploading on a consistent schedule again because i don't know i just feel like my life has been life and lately like it's so much going on my life is not on the schedule right now so i really just be getting around to stuff when i have the time to i also just took like a really long mental health break and i feel like that's what this whole year was it was kind of just like me taking time for myself because y'all know especially like last year and the year before consistency was always like a thing for me like i always would have my content up for y'all at least a video a week or at least a couple videos a month or whatever the case may be but lately i've just been like girl upload a short they'll get a long video whenever you got time for it so i'm gonna stop putting y'all off because we are besties and i love y'all but girl it's just been a lot i really need to do a life update with y'all because so much has happened i'm trying to figure it out but it's not as easy as it seems at all like i'm just i'm tired of being an adult i'm tired of being an adult i'm tired of being an adult Hey bestie, I'm about to finally make my little sugar cookie latte. I'm also going to restock or make some more of my little DIY sugar cookie syrup. So I'm about to go ahead and take y'all in the kitchen and we're going to whip that up. Okay, let's get into this sugar cookie syrup recipe. So you're going to need a cup of regular sugar. And basically, we're going to start off with a simple syrup. So for every cup of sugar that you're going to use, you're going to use a cup of water. So I'm going to go ahead and put in my cup of sugar now. I found these really pretty like canisters from Target last year. So I just have my sugar in this really pretty like heart container or whatever. But I'm going to go ahead and add that in and then add my water in. And I did decide to make a bigger batch today. So I'm going to do two cups of sugar and two cups of water for this recipe. So after everything is all poured in, I am going to take a spoon and just go in and try to get that sugar dissolved into the water so we can start on the actual syrup. You want to make sure that you mix this in before you turn the heat on because you don't want anything to burn. So mix it in and then we're going to go ahead and turn the eye on. I am going to be putting mine on like a medium heat today. You could do high heat, but you really want to watch it and you don't want it to boil. So as y'all can see i have a little bit of steam starting up it's getting pretty hot now i'm about to go ahead and add in my actual extracts 
to get the sugar cookie taste today we're going to be using vanilla extract butter extract and almond extract you can find all of these at your local grocery store very affordable i go in and add mine once i see that the heat is pretty much starting to turn the water like a frothy clear color it's not going to be as pigmented as it was initially and basically the color change just means that the sugar is fully dissolved into the water so after i feel like everything's all dissolved i'm now gonna go in and i'm gonna start off with my vanilla extract first i feel like the vanilla extract is the most that i use but we're gonna go in with about four teaspoons of vanilla extract you can tweak this recipe to your desired taste of how you want it to be if you want it to be a little bit more salty you can use more butter extract or if you don't want to use butter extract you could also use like cake extract or cake batter extract i think it's called something like that but this is what i do so i'm gonna go in and just add like i said about four teaspoons of this and then once i add my four teaspoons of my vanilla extract i am gonna go in and add about a teaspoon to a teaspoon and a half of this butter extract and like I said, if you want it more salty, you could add a little bit more of the butter extract, but I try not to do too much of that because I like mine a little bit more on the sweet side. So I'm gonna add in the butter extract and then we're gonna go in with the almond extract. One thing about me, I'm not a big fan of this almond extract at all. I don't like the taste of it, but it is essential for the recipe just to balance everything out. So I'm gonna go in with half a teaspoon of the almond extract and that's all that I'm using of this. If you add too much of this, it does give like a very weird taste. I don't even know how to describe the taste, but I'm not a fan. So just make sure you're watching out for that. And then we are gonna add in about a tablespoon of brown sugar as well, just to add a little bit more of sweetness to it. And just to give that like cookie taste. So I'm gonna go ahead and add in my brown sugar. And of course, just mix this in until everything is dissolved. It is a lot easier to dissolve now because it is a lot more hot because it's been sitting on the eye but of course i am still gonna go in and mix that in i did decide to add in a little bit more just because i wanted mine a little bit more dark but as you guys can see once that dissolves into the actual mixture the syrup itself will turn this like caramel brown color and this is the color that you want it to be i did let mine boil just a little bit like i'm talking a smidge girl the second that you see those bubbles start to form that's when you know that the syrup is ready you don't want to do this on to have a setting either because you don't want the syrup to burn so just make sure you're watching it and adjusting the heat as you need I'm just gonna go in and mix everything together so that everything's fully dissolved and then once it's done like I said you want to have this like caramely brown color so this is what my syrup is looking like now it's pretty much finished i did take it off of the stove turn off the heat and just let it simmer a little bit and just you know rest for a second before i go in and put it into my jar you guys ask me about these jars a lot too i find them from dollar tree so i'm just gonna take a little silicone funnel stick it into my jar and then we're gonna go in and add our syrup you want to be careful if you're doing this while it's still hot you should definitely wait for it to like cool down because y'all see all that steam girl it's hot but i'm a rebel so i'm just going in adding it to my jar and that is how i make my sugar cookie syrup this is my little recipe the girlies have been eating me up on tiktok and instagram I'm asking for this so I decided to put it in a vlog I might make a short form video for you guys as well for like Instagram or whatever but this is a recipe if y'all try it out definitely let me know down below in the comments but yeah besties this is the recipe that I have curated that works for me you can of course tweak it to your own liking I did try to like look up some different recipes on TikTok to see what other people do and a lot of people pretty much do it the same way I'm doing it so I feel like it works for me and if y'all try it out let me know down below what y'all think of it like I want genuine comments down below if y'all try it out because I want to know if it's good or not everyone that I've tried like in my house and like my family and stuff everyone says it tastes exactly like sugar cookies and that it's good so i'd be happy with that 
but I did have a little bit of extra so I'm gonna go in and basically add it to my other jar as you guys can see in the jar right here that I'm about to fill up the syrup is a little bit lighter that's what it looks like after it cools down so I'm just adding a little bit more because I had some extra left in this jar and I basically had like two jars of sugar cookie syrup this lasts about a week to a week and a half in the fridge I think it could last longer but that's how long it lasts for me because I've been using it so much but yeah that's my little recipe y'all it's giving the girls starbies at home starbies on a budget so yeah let me know if y'all try it out oh, yeah. Yeah. I'm about to go ahead and finish this and then I will pick y'all up in a minute and then I'll also show y'all me cooking dinner because I am gonna make pot rolls and I'm gonna make it in a crock pot so it's gonna take a minute to cook probably at least like nine hours six hours something like that but yeah I will catch you girlies in a little bit I've been chilling in the bed on Amazon literally I need to delete the Amazon app off of my phone y'all because I have been going crazy on Amazon all month like literally all month is insane I just went on here and ordered some stuff for the bed I got a new little like it's not a comforter set I got a duvet and a duvet cover and this is my first time with a duvet so I'm gonna see how I like it but I feel like most of the girlies that I be seeing use duvets and like duvet covers instead of comforters and their beds just look a little bit more luxurious don't get me wrong i know how to make my bed up and make it you know pretty cute but i definitely want to try out a duvet so i got that and then i also got a little mattress protector mattress pad thing just because the mattress protector that i had it ended up getting stained pretty bad so i ordered a waterproof one and this one has like padding at the top so i'm excited everything that i got was on sale so i got all of those for like 60 dollars so those will be here tomorrow of course i'm gonna like wash everything and show y'all once they get here but i'm really excited about that because i've been wanting a new like bed set for a while and i also ordered some more press-ons really want to change my nails i've been rocking with this red set for probably like a week a week and a half now i just felt like it was festive but I don't know. I'm probably going to change it. But yeah, I just wanted to update y'all. Um, I'm about to get up and cook. So I will catch y'all in the kitchen.
I guess I want peace. You look after me. Hit the road. Oh, wait, wait. This is it. This is the precise moment that I've been looking for. This is my daughter going off to college. This is my shot. afternoon you guys it is now friday no i'm lying child it is saturday i'm about to finish up any cleaning that i need to do and then i'm going to sit down and finally edit for you guys so y'all saw i just made me a matcha this tastes so much better than starbucks oh my god i didn't add any brown sugar or anything all i used to make it sweet was the vanilla syrup and y'all this tastes so good it tastes better than the matches that i normally get from starbucks like amazing so i'm about to enjoy this and clean up for a little bit i really don't have much cleaning that i need to do because like i told y'all i did do my reset yesterday but today is going to be all about finishing laundry i also need to clean my bedroom and then i need to clean out my fridge and clean out my oven and I think that's everything. Oh, and I want to shampoo my carpets today as well. Hopefully, I will be able to do that today. I know my sister texted me saying she needs her carpet shampooer back and she was going to come pick it up. But I'm not sure what time she's going to do it. So, hopefully, I'll get around to shampooing the carpet before she comes to pick up the carpet shampooer. I've been having to shampoo my carpets because, for whatever reason, Bella keeps wanting to pee in the hallway. And... It's, it's not given you're not potty training like sis what's going on. So I have her carpet shampooer again this week so that I'm able to shampoo my carpets again. I honestly really just need to order my own. My sister had said she was going to give me one for Christmas. Hopefully she gives me one for real because I really need one. Um... But yeah, I need to order a new carpet shampooer and a new vacuum cleaner. Honestly, y'all, I really don't want to buy a vacuum. I really just want, like, can someone send me a vacuum? Out of all the brands that be watching my videos, I, I know it's somebody selling vacuums out there. Like, somebody send me a vacuum. Because I genuinely do not want to buy a vacuum. Y'all, I got on Amazon yesterday looking for vacuums. Why are vacuums, like, $400, $300? Like, babes no and then the ones that i be ordering they be like 100 to 175 they always end up breaking so i don't know what type of vacuum to get if y'all have any affordable recommendations please comment them down below dyson if you see this video and you want to see your girl a vacuum please do okay i will make all the content in the world like i just don't want to buy a new vacuum and i need a vacuum that's good for like people with dogs because the amount of dog hair that be on my carpet it's like you can't even see it but once you go to like vacuum or shampoo the carpet you can definitely tell so if y'all have any good recommendations of an affordable vacuum that is amazing with dog hair please comment them down below please don't tell me to get a dyson i know that i need to get a dyson but i'm not getting a dyson until i move because that's expensive okay dyson's be like 400 plus and i just i can't do it i'm probably about to go ahead and clean the oven i feel like that's what's gonna take me the longest because i haven't cleaned my oven in like a month 
so it's pretty bad honestly no it's been like two months since i cleaned my oven and she's she's looking a hot mess so i'm about to go ahead and do that now because i feel like that's what's going to take me the longest for the day and then once i finish up with that i'll probably go ahead and clean in my bedroom i also was thinking about filming today i have a fashion overhaul that i really need to hurry up and film so i'm probably going to try to work on that today if i don't get around to it today then i'll do it tomorrow but i have everything laid out and y'all look at all this stuff don't mind all those like sheets and pillows and stuff in the back like i told you i'm doing laundry and i need to put those away but this is all of my stuff it's a good amount of stuff i need to go ahead and knock this out hopefully i'm able to do it today but girl do y'all see like it's a lot of clothes i might not be able to do it today i don't know so yeah that's the plans for this saturday i also have a lot of like tiktoks and stuff i need to edit so hopefully we'll get around to that sometime today too mainly because i haven't uploaded a tiktok real i haven't uploaded any type of video in like four days so i'm feeling a little off but i'm not too mad at myself because i went on youtube this morning looking at my youtube studio and babe your girl hit 54k i'm about to hit 55k probably by the end of today one of my shorts went viral so she's sitting at like 488,000 views and i'm very happy because this is my first like youtube short to blow up well not like blow up because i've had some that have gone like over 100k but baby we on the way to half a mil and i'm trying to hit my first million like that's one of my big goals like i want to hit a million views on some of my content because i feel like once you hit a million views that's when you know that's when you know your shit popping so i really want to hit a million views on a video that's a goal of mine, if not by the end of this year, then 2024 for sure. But seeing this real being at like almost 500,000 views is crazy because it literally had 188,000 views either yesterday or the day before. And it just blew up out of nowhere. And that's usually how content works. Like normally when things go viral, they blow up out of nowhere. Like I go to sleep and wake up to... Is that a ladybug? Is that a sign? Oh, she flew off the minute. The minute I tried to show y'all. Is that a sign? I'm gonna Google what that means. Because why am I talking about that and a random ladybug just comes to my window? I don't even be seeing ladybugs. So what's tea on that? That's from the future here. I just wanted to come back and give y'all an update on this because your girl definitely hit that meal okay not only did she hit that meal once but she hit that meal twice okay the video that i was telling y'all about in the vlog that y'all are watching the video hit two million views and here we are now in 2024 as i'm recording the clip y'all are watching now because this vlog is from last year but here we are 2024 i already didn't hit my third meal like and not even on that video i had another video hit a million views so i just want to say thank y'all and everything you put your mind to you can do because as y'all can see from this video it was a sign like i already knew we knew the meal was coming we already knew now let's run it up get some more meals so i can get 100k that's a goal i don't want to put a time limit on it though i might need to but now our next goal is to hit 100,000 subscribers we're about to hit 60k which is crazy because when i recorded this video we were at 55 but we're about to hit 50 no we're about to hit 60k now i'm at 59 point eight or like 59.9 k right now so shout out to y'all i love y'all i seen someone say this was an ugly heart so yeah back to the vlog <laughs> but yeah y'all that's what we got going on i just wanted to come and update y'all and also say thank you for everyone who's watched my short i know it's a bunch of like new people but for all of my girlies and all the besties that tuned in thank you so much and also thank y'all so much for 54k like i said 55k on the way but yeah i'm about to go ahead and start pulling out all my cleaning stuff and i will see y'all once i'm about to get into cleaning probably cleaning the oven i'll probably record me cleaning the oven for y'all because it's filthy <laughs> hey besties I need to stop calling y'all that because I feel like, well, I like calling y'all besties, but every YouTuber subbies get called besties. I don't know how I feel about that. Anywho, I need my tripod. 
anyway y'all i am just now picking the camera up it's super late in the day it's already 5 20 and y'all it is dark it's i don't know what else i like it's giving eight o'clock and it's not even 5 30 yet but i am first of all i disregard this big old hump in my bonnet my hair is in a bun but it looks so bad and i'm like you might as well just put the bonnet on so ignore that but i am currently pulling out everything for this dresser i'm about to attempt to put it together myself but if it's too much going on then i'm gonna wait for my boyfriend to get home i might start it and just like finish it when he gets here or something i really just want something to do i should be editing right now but i also have put the dresser together on my to-do list so i'm like let's go ahead and put it together so i can get this box out of my living room i'll probably work on this for about like an hour to an hour and a half the box says that it's supposed to take an hour and a half to do but the box also says that you need two people to do it so i'm gonna start working on it if i feel like it's getting too big i'm gonna go ahead and like transport everything into my room that way i don't have to like lift or push this big huge dresser through the living room into my room but i do want to try to build it in the living room and see if i'll be able to do it that way instead because it's not that much space right there in my room so i really don't want to pull all these parts out and then get stuff mixed up or lose screws or whatever the case may be i normally always build everything in my living room and then move it to my bedroom and if it's through the door just fine so Fingers crossed that this will be one of those projects. But yeah, I'm about to go ahead and get to it. I need to get my tripod so I can sit you guys up and let y'all watch. I need to turn the air on, girl. The freaking weather is all over the place. One minute I need to have the air on. One minute I need to have the heat on. Like this morning, it was freezing cold. Literally, I woke up and it was like, I think 60 something in here. But now it's like 80 degrees in here and I'm hot. about how you been acting when a nigga got money now you been switched up on me now you won't say what's up to me okay so now you won't make love to me girl if you don't get the fuck from me i know you thought we had something special but you don't mean nothing to me girl i'm sorry you not the one for me just be honest girl what you want from me this ain't nothing to keep it so one honey i can't let none of these niggas get one up on me i go back i tell you you better run from me Get hold of my niggas, them niggas love money Adios to them bitches, can't get a hug from me I'm high on life, that's what it does for me My number's going up, I feel a buzz coming Young nigga, young nigga Friends, bad food, and some come with you Cause I'm on nigga And we like, bitch, you with their own shit We don't like gold diggers I got a knock at the door and it's my Amazon packages that I was telling y'all about yesterday So I'm gonna open them up with y'all I got this little thingy I don't even know what to call this but basically you could put your tripod through here and you have all these different little screws where you could screw on like a camera or your phone or whatever the case may be so I got this just so I can film my YouTube videos and my TikToks at the same time without having to use two separate tripods so I'm happy about that and then also in this package we have some nails these are just some full cover nail tips for when I make my press ones All right, so first thing I'm pulling out, we have this duvet cover set. It's just a white duvet cover. This is by the brand Utopia Bedding. It had good reviews on Amazon, so this is one I decided to go with. And my bed is a size queen. I do want to get a bigger bed, actually, but not until we move. So for now, there's that. And then I did also pick up, like I told y'all, a mattress protector. This one is waterproof, breathable, noiseless, girl, what? <laughs> and washable. So, this is what it looks like. This one is by the brand a Premium Bamboo. Wait, is that the brand? I don't know. This is a Premium Bamboo mattress cover. And then, the last thing in the box, this is the duvet cover insert that I bought. I'm about to go ahead and... Open all this up and then I'm going to pop it into the washing machine. So that way by the time we get home, it'll be washed. And all I got to do is put it in the dryer. Ooh. 
Oh shit. Okay. So this is the duvet insert that I got. It's literally just a white. big white duvet insert i did see in Aaliyah's faces video she said to use two duvet inserts i'm gonna see what it looks like using just one insert and then if i feel like i want it to be like more big or fluffy then i order another one but i'm about to go ahead and pop this into the washer i probably will have to wash should i wash a duvet insert right now or the cover I don't know. Let me open this. The duvet cover set that I'm opening now. I think this comes with two shams as well. Yeah. So let me drop and stuff. Okay. So this is the duvet cover. It really just looked like a big ass sheet. I've never had a duvet. I've only had comforters. So we're going to figure this out together. Okay. I've never had to like do this before that's not getting luxury whatever and then these are the shams and these are really big what the fuck whose pillow is this big what size pillows is this who pillows is this big like these so for real I don't know. Maybe I'm tripping. We'll see. I'm going to go ahead and wash all of this because I'm not going to just put this on my bed like that. And I've also been getting comments on my little short talking about something. You're so, you're so nasty putting those dirty packages on your duvet. I mean, on your comforter. Please be for real. Why do y'all think that I be putting dirty packages on the on the comforter and then just sleeping like that, babe? I only record those little videos when it's time for me to wash my sheets. Make up the bed with the comforter from the week. Make my videos, take the comforter off the bed, and wash it. Like, what? People are so silly. But yeah, this is the little um, mattress protector that I got. It looks nice. Like it's nice quality. But yeah, that's everything this go around from Amazon. Um, I'm not gonna place any more Amazon orders this week. Hopefully. And yeah, let me hide this. It's me hiding the boxes. <laughs> this is ridiculous actually. If I put this big box at the bottom of all my other big boxes from the week, he won't notice that it's an extra box. I know y'all probably be like, her man, control how much she's spending. Girl, bye. He don't. I just could spend my money on better things, and I, I choose not to. I really never realized how much I shop until I see all the boxes that my boyfriend has to break down. Like, I have a slight problem. Alright. I'm also go ahead and... I want to wash the comforter and stuff, but I have towels in the washer that needs to be washed. So I'm going to wash those. And I'll wash the comforter and all this extra stuff once I get home. He should be getting off work, like, right now. I'm finna just throw all this on the floor in my room and I'm gonna wash it once I get home. Oh my gosh, who is blowing me up? <laughs> like, since when did I become so popular? Every time I turn this camera on, it's like, she's so popular. Like, why are you. Like, do not. And my do not disturb is on. Like, what's tea? Anywho, y'all. Mind you. <coughs> The devil, the devil be trying to work hard because I was not coughing until I turned his camera on. Like, why is it the minute I start talking to the camera, I want to cough? Like, what's tea? <coughs> <coughs> like, what is this cough? I don't like that at all. 
Like, what is that? The, I ain't been vlogging. I say I want to start vlogging. The minute I pick the vlog up, I'm coughing. And I ain't been coughing all day, all week. Like, mm -mm. we rebuke it. <laughs> Don't play. <sighs> Y'all be wondering where your girl is at. It's giving spiritual warfare. Like, come on. <coughs> <coughs> like, what the fuck? I have not coughed all day. Like, what is this? <clears throat> Clearly, I had to quench my thirst. Had to, had to hydrate the pipes. <sighs> Anywho, I really turned this camera on because your girl has been getting so many Amazon packages. And I wanted to show y'all the stuff that I got from my room before I just put it up. And then y'all be like... Why didn't you record this? Why didn't you record this? Because I know the bedroom transformation is something that y'all probably would want to see in a vlog. So, doing a little like mini bedroom transformation. I ended up going on Amazon and ordering me some velvet pillowcases, some new like throw pillows. I also ordered two sets of curtains because I'm going to hang some curtains up in the room. So, yeah, hopefully it's going to be a little vibe. I do need a drill though. And I don't have my own drill. It's crazy because I've been doing all of these like little DIY projects and I be borrowing my boyfriend's parents drill so I asked him could he try to pick up the drill from his dad for me today and if he does do that then I'm gonna hang up my curtains today but um right now I'm about to go ahead and open up the pillows and I'm like I might as well record and show y'all me opening them do y'all even care I don't know. I'm just in my, like, stay-at-home girlfriend era. So, really, all I be doing is buying home decor. Like, <laughs> that's what y'all be wondering what a vlogs be, girl. I don't be having nothing to vlog unless y'all want to watch me clean this house, cook this food, <laughs> and love on this man. <laughs> no, but, like, for real, it's giving very much stay-at-home girlfriend, stay-at-home dog mom, full-time part time <laughs> content creator at this point but that's something that i definitely need to work on in a new year let's go ahead and head in my room and open these pillowcases i'm also going to give y'all a little update on the dresser because i did decorate for christmas okay i need to turn the lights on hold on All right, y'all, update on the dresser. I love it. I'm obsessed. As y'all can see, I did my little one-two for Christmas. I have my garland. The garland is from Timu. The fairy lights are from Timu. This tree, my boyfriend brought this home. I think someone from his job said that we could have it or some shit. I don't know, girl. And then the mirror with the candlesticks. I feel like that's eating. So, I'm obsessed. Please ignore the wall. I do still need to paint. I feel like I told y'all that already. Like, I feel like I say that in every home video. And I still have yet to get around to painting in here, girl. Since I did my closet, I've been saying I need to paint. And it's still milkshake stains on the wall. Yes, you heard me right. Milkshake stains on the wall. I didn't try everything. Magic erasers. Um, fabuloso. Uh everything baby just gotta paint the wall and my adhd ain't been adhd and to the point where i didn't been manic enough to want to paint the walls so that'll be for another episode but that's my dresser i am in love and she's organized too not the top drawer but do you see her i don't know what's going on right here but it's given very much so organized very much that girl she busting out the seams so i got so much stuffed in this drawer right here i need two hands to open her but just know she's organized okay like up under all of this everything is it's folded babes it, it's folded all nice but it's just packed and then it's my boyfriend's side but yeah, love the dresser, love the outcome of that. And like I told y'all, I'm gonna um hang up some curtains. So those are gonna go up against that window right there. But I'm about to open my pillows real quick. I have been wanting these pillows for so long. Like I have been having this idea of how I want my bed to look 
for about what like two or three months now and i'm finally getting around to making the vision come to life like y'all saw the girl got her duvet mind you i started off with one duvet insert ended up doing the the little two duvet inserts shout out to my girl Aaliyah's face because it's giving luxury like it's giving living in luxury and i cannot wait to put my curtains up because i feel like it's just gonna set the tone for the room and it's gonna tie everything together like only thing that i need after this is to paint the walls and to put a bigger tv up in here i don't watch tv so it's like it's no point in me having a tv in my room for real we watch like little movies in here every now and again on my boyfriend's tv but the tv in here is really just for him to play his game we don't watch TV. Um, even the TV in my living room, like, I really just turn that on to turn Pandora on when I don't feel like connecting my phone to the speaker. We don't watch TV. So I never really, like, rushed to buy a new TV or nothing like that. But now that everything else is coming together, I just feel like a bigger TV mounted on the wall in here would look so good. So that'll be the last thing. But right now, I'm really enjoying the vibe of my house. Like, I love it here. Literally my safe space. Love it. Anywho... I'm done rambling. Let's open my new pillowcases and pillows. I had a knife somewhere. I, that's another thing with me. I feel like vlogging. The ADHD is ADHD and real bad right now, if you couldn't tell. Like, I cannot. My thoughts are just moving so fast that I could barely get them out. <laughs> like, for real. Please don't judge me. Y'all been asking why... I, Y'all want the vlogs so bad. <laughs> y'all be wanting the vlogs. I be trying to give them to y'all, but just know the ADHD be ADHD. And like, I feel like this is so chaotic. And the girlies are probably going to say, you be high. I'm sober as shit right now. That's why I be high. Like, the ADHD. <sighs> I just feel like so overwhelmed. Anywho, I'm about to go ahead and open up my new pillow covers and pillows. These are, I think, 26 by 26 pillow inserts. I got them off of Amazon. I will try to have everything. Everything will for sure be linked in my Amazon storefront, but I will try to leave it linked down below. Sometimes I be forgetting to link the stuff, so I don't be. I hope I didn't just cut into my pillow. I feel like I might have. They say you're not supposed to open this with sharp objects and that's exactly what i'm doing and for some reason i low-key feel like i cut into the pillow but i hope i did it but anyway y'all um, these are 26 by 26 inch like i said i got them off of amazon i think these were in someone's storefront i've been having this vision for how i want my bed to look and these pillows are so big and fluffy and i feel like it'll just complete the look i've just been trying to make my apartment a little bit more homey i've been living here for so long now so it's like i low-key want to move but i keep telling myself in this economy girl you need to stay where you at but i don't know y'all we'll see i don't want to sound like i'm doubting myself but i just don't want to rush into anything you know but yeah here are the pillows these better these better expand are they expanding is it expanding hold on because this shit is flat as fuck that's a big ass pillow y'all this shit is big does she need time to expand or like what's tea? Because I see that it's in a bag or whatever. And I know normally when they send like, you know, mattresses or pillows and stuff in bags, you have to wait for them to like fluff up. So I hope it don't take forever because I really want to put it in the pillowcase now. But yeah, I'm pretty sure these pillows I saw on someone's TikTok because I've been seeing... I've been watching so many different like home videos, home styling videos, or just like people's vlogs, seeing in the back how their home looks and stuff. And I don't know. I just, oh yeah, it's starting next to me. And I've just been trying to like get an idea for how I want my bed to look. 
And one thing that I knew I wanted to add was bigger throw pillows. So I picked up this two pack of these 26 by 26. They feel like really nice quality, but like I said, I just needed to expand a little bit more before I could really give my opinion. But the quality feels good. Like it feels like a hotel pillow. Please don't ask me none of the specs other than the size, baby, because I cannot tell you nothing about that pillow. Okay, I don't know how many feathers is in there and in the thread count and all that. I don't know. But I know that they're 26 by 26 and they are huge. And I think that they're going to look really good on my bed. I do also want to order some more pillows. I want to order some probably like 18 by 18 or 20 by 20 or something like that. I think I want to order like four of those. But I ordered these because they were low in stock and I'm like I've been wanting them for a while they were pretty pricey for pillows I think I spent like 50 or 60 dollars on a pack of two I could be wrong though but they're really big and they feel like really nice quality I'm definitely gonna be able to chop them which y'all know we love that looking at them now like girl these are some big ass pillows like do y'all see how big <laughs> these are some big ass pillows Okay, but y'all can see they're definitely starting to fluff out. Yeah, these are nice. Moving on from the pillows, I did also, of course, pick up some pillow covers as well. These ones are velvet. Y'all know my bed is velvet, so I thought that this would be fitting. I'm not sure if this is, like, the same color. I really can't tell. What do y'all think? It's pretty close. Like, it's it's almost the same, right? It's a little bit lighter. But I don't really think you could tell. It's not that deep. I am going to order some more pillows for the bedroom. Because I want to get rid of all of the decor pillows that I have right now. I only have, like, two that I want to keep. And then I also want to get us more pillows for just, like, sleeping. Because we've had these pillows for a while. And I don't know. I just feel like... It's probably time to swap them out. So yeah, before this year ends, I'm for sure going to order more pillows. And I'll probably pick me up some more sheets. I guess I could show y'all the curtain rod that I got as well since we're talking home updates. I picked up this curtain rod from Amazon. And look how cute. And it's a double rod. So I'm going to be able to, of course, hang up two different sets of curtains, which I have right here these ones i don't know what's going on with everybody in their like little vacuum seal packaging but these are a pair of the curtains that i got these are sheer white curtains and then i did also pick up some gray velvet curtains like i told y'all as well i'm excited to open these and see hopefully they're not too long and they're the right size y'all i'm like really nervous about this entire little curtain project but if these are the right size then this whole situation is about to eat okay especially because i got the sheer curtains to go in the back and then we're gonna have the velvet in the front it's gonna eat like i feel like it's gonna match my room perfect and then we got the velvet with the velvet bed and the velvet pillowcases like come on now but yeah i just wanted to give y'all that little update i really don't have anything going on girl i did get another amazon pack my phone just died Ugh, I don't know why every time my phone dies, I be feeling like, like it's an emergency and someone is trying to contact me right then and there when my phone dies. Meanwhile, no one is texting me at all other than my man. But I just feel like the second my phone die, it's giving like, bitch, I'm Batman. Like, <laughs> how they gonna call me if they need me? Mind you, I should be the last person someone should call if they need anything because I don't answer the phone. That's just me. and Everybody knows that. And that's okay. But be quick to be like, oh yeah, call me if you need me. It's just a few limitations on that, you know. Might take a, a little four, five, six, seven business days to, to get up with me for real. That's all I have going on right now, y'all. I've just been opening my Amazon packages as they come in. I had another one that I just opened as well that had some builder gel in it because, as y'all can see, 
your girl is on her natural nail journey right now. I don't know how long this is going to last because I'm like fiending to put some press-ons on. But I'm trying to like really be in my natural nail bag for this new year. So I'm like, I might as well start now. But my birthday is coming up and I really want to be a baddie for my birthday. So it's like, mm, I don't know what to do. But my natural nails are looking healthy. They have a little length to them. Not as much as I want, but yeah. But they look okay. Yeah, I don't know how long this is going to last. But I did order some builder gel to try to keep me motivated. So I just had an Amazon package that was delivered a couple minutes ago um, with like different builder gels and stuff. But y'all saw all the stuff I just opened. I don't feel like fooling with that right now. I'll probably do my nails on Sunday so they could be nice and fresh. I need to figure out what I'm going to do with my hair as well. I've been rambling and running my mouth for about 30 minutes now. That's crazy. So I'm going to go ahead and turn the camera off. all right you guys it is now the next day as y'all can see i put those curtains up and they look so good y'all and then y'all saw i opened up the pillows i did let them expand and i put the pillowcases on them they look so good too i am about to go ahead and make up my bed but before i do that i did just get an amazon package so i'm about to go ahead and open her up i always call something a she like i need to stop giving things titles why am i like that I'm just a girl. Anyway, I'm about to go ahead and open up my package. I'm excited for this because I'm trying to get my life together. Like, hopefully today will be the day I get my life together. And I feel like this arriving today is just right on brand. So with that being said, I picked up a new planner. I'm trying to go ahead and get my life organized because I really want to get back on schedule with content. And just getting my life together because I have been just going with the flow for the past like four months and i need to cut it out and get my ish together so i picked up this planner on amazon i actually saw i believe it's papier papier i don't know how to pronounce it but it's a brand that reached out to me they said that they were gonna send me a planner but it didn't come yet and i don't know if it's still coming i picked up this little 2024 planner on amazon it was 9.99 and then they had a 50 percent off code so i used that so it ended up being like five dollars so i'm like why not it's super aesthetic as y'all can see y'all know this is like my aesthetic right up my alley so i thought this was really cute picked it up it's a spiral this is how the weeks look and then it has a monthly calendar as well. So it's a really basic planner, but I want to start getting my stuff together for the new year. So I had to pick her up. And then I did also just pick up a new phone case. I don't know what it is, but I be changing my phone case like every couple days. And I just want a new one. So I picked up this one. I was looking at one similar to this on Shein, but I didn't end up getting it. I saw it on Amazon, so I'm like, I might as well just get it from there since they have Prime. But this is what it looks like. It's like a beige color. Y'all know I'm very boring when it comes to colors. I love creams and I love pink, but that's about it. Oh, and gold, but yeah, that's about it for me. But yeah, super cute. And it's just a regular, regular, schmegular phone case. But I don't know, something about me, I like the texture in my hands. I don't know if it's my ADHD or what it is, but I like phone cases that have texture. So when I hold my phone, I could like grip it better. I don't know if that makes sense, but 
yeah that's what i picked up from amazon i'm gonna go ahead and make up my bed so we can start getting my life together Drop me jump right off the curb Bet this run fly like a bird Spin on the first and the third Solid, I'm keeping my word Can't be my equal, I don't know what you heard Crack up the four and I swear Keep me a stick of that bird Y'all got no one that they working my nerves I'm about to pause and so serve Fucking this bitch like a perm Smack from the back of a perm Ice, the bird Shitting on all you little turds Can't take that dick with your turn In my own lane we can't merge So with no hands you can learn Let's see how much you can earn Why me go big like the worm And I ain't smoking no shirt I'm in the big with P. Liddy QP, QP ski I love my bitches, it's pretty They showing their titties, it's up to the center I let them run through a million I rock with a really, let's fuck on a billion I'ma get down to the gritty Then fuck up the city, the home of the villains SSC wanna fulfill it. Smoke out the pound when I'm chillin' Trappin' I made me a killer Look, I got everybody wishing. I hope you play your position I don't want nobody listening. I see them hoe with precision Give us my only decision Young gun on one that back callin' me splurge Drive me jump right off the curb Bend this run fly like a bird Spin on the first and the third Solid, I'm keepin' my word Can't be my equal, I don't know what you heard Crank up the four and I swear Keep me a stick of that curb It's currently 9.25 right now. I'm finna just watch some YouTube videos. Go ahead and import all of my TikToks to CapCut. And I might start editing the videos for tomorrow that I want to upload. As far as like my short form content on TikTok and Reels and all of that. But um, as far as YouTube goes, I am done for the day. Like I'm done. So yeah, but I'm going to see y'all.